This is an interesting one. Number 12, DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. One, he's no longer with the Arizona Cardinals. I do not believe that DeAndre Hopkins will be in the top is a is is number 12. Because one, he's he's no longer on the worst roster in the NFL currently. Mm -hmm. But also two, his role will change. He becomes a second option, which is a which is a role change. And the reason he becomes a second option, he's a little bit long uh, uh, older. He's not as fast and was never really sneaky fast, but extremely crafty and right. still crafty. However, it is June. If he's on a team in June, that means free agency has gone and passed. The draft has gone and passed. Teams have built their – they drafted based off the current roster. Not having DeAndre Hopkins on a roster was ever a thought in the draft. All right. And now he's available as a – as is released as a free agent. Now you have to go through the, the dating stage. Is this workable? Is our is his uh, APY, you know, average pay per average uh, pay a year? Is it right? We don't want to ruffle the feathers of our t our current team. Look at Gabe Davis, how he played up and down with the talks of OBJ constantly mm -hmm. being there. The week that he has Thursday night against New England Patriots, they throw him a pass. They're talking about OBJ will be visiting the Buffalo Bills that Monday, that weekend of their weekend buy of the Thursday night football game. And what does he do in that first pass? Drops it. Mm. Knowing that you're good enough, the team is like, hey, you're good enough to start, but we're looking. Yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> but we're looking by next week. You may not be playing. Yeah. You may be number three. Is it? So I'm always interested in that. It, how do you judge it? Because you've seen people step up in that scenario too. He hasn't stepped up. He right. Gabe, I thought last year was going to be the year he steps up and really kind of shows, hey, when Diggs – is either not there anymore or he, he – he, I thought Gabe would start to show, hey, I'm the guy. Yeah. I'm the, I, I am inheriting this starting role when Stefan Diggs decides he no longer wants to be Stefan Diggs. Yeah, yeah. I'm the guy. I'm, I, I, Batman, I'm, I'm Robin, but I am waiting in the wing, and I've been trying on the suit, bro. Right, right. And it feels good. A little bit got to do some alterations, but we'll be good. You hear in Buffalo Bills are our favorite or Kansas City, but he's not going to be the number one uh, wide receiver on that team. Not in Buffalo, but in not, Kansas City, no? I mean, Kelsey's obviously their number one. Kelsey will be their number one. They got Sky Moore. They got Kadarius Tony. They have a you talking about a flex guy. I'll add a flex guy right now. John Ross. Justin Ross. Justin no, Ross. John Ross is with the Kansas City. They got Justin Ross and John Ross. Oh, really? Yes. John Ross, I've heard, has been impressing. Imagine. Here's here, here's the guy that I think of when you say, what is he going to do, Steve? Ty Pinkston. Andy Reid, Philadelphia uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Mm -hmm. Speak when Andy Reid, the scientist, gets the mad science, when he gets speed on the team, John Ross is that speed guy. John Ross is not the speed guy as the number one wide receiver, but John Ross can contribute to this team and put pressure on the defense. So you got uh, uh, MVS, John Ross, Sky Moore. Kadarius Tony, Rasheed Rice, Rasheed Rice, 
I mean, I'm I'm never gonna give up on Justin Ross when seeing him at Clemson just yeah. absolutely dominate and then have horrible injury after horrible injury. When he signed with them last year, I was horrified. He didn't play at all, forgot about him, saw him catch a touchdown from Mahomes yesterday, became horrified again. Okay. <laughs> all right. So DeAndre Hopkins, his role will change, which means he drops out of the top 15, in my opinion, in my personal, in my professional opinion. But fantasy wise, if he goes to one of these places, he I, could I still, just, but he could, even if he's just a touchdown guy, like his yards, his catches go down, could his touchdowns rise, especially playing in Buffalo? Yeah. 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 Okay. Because you know they're not going to run the football. No, they have no idea how to do that. Nope. And when you're talking about the Rams won. And lost all their coaches. There are teams who don't win, like the Bills, and lose all their coaches. Whether it's Leslie Frazier taking a year off, but they also don't have. They didn't lose players. The Rams lost players. The Rams lost both. Yeah, for sure. Yes. But you do see plenty of teams that have success. Their coaching tree starts getting picked apart, and then it falls out. That's yes. why you don't always have next year. It was yeah. the point I'm getting to. Like it, it's not always. Oh, the quarterback's 25. We've got all this time. Yeah. Now you're on your third OC yeah. because the other ones keep getting hired because he keeps playing yeah. well. Maybe this guy's not the one. So it's, it's always risky when guys are sliding in and out. <laughs>